Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you do me this Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest video. This is an unboxing and a telescope review video. I'm marking this video as a paid presentation, as a paid promotion, although I'm not getting paid for this review. The company did contact me, contact me and asked me if I'd like to do a review and I, that I could keep the telescope. So in a kind of a roundabout way, I'm kind of getting paid, I guess you could say, because I'm getting to keep the telescope. Now, normally I don't do reviews, but I jumped at the chance for this telescope because it's something called a Maxutov Cassegrain, which is a, um, a really high quality optical system for telescopes. And I don't own one. So I said, wow, you know, I'll get a Mac, a Max, a Mac, a Max Sutoff, and I'll be able to use it and check it out and see what I think about it. And uh, I'll, I'll do some reviews on the website and in the YouTube channels. And uh, so they sent it to me. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. And uh, so this, the company sent it to me, and they were very nice about it, and no strings attached. They, they just sent me the telescope, the, the nice little kit here. And I'm free to write any kind of review that I want. And my review here for this telescope is very positive. It's a wonderful little telescope. And I'll explain some things to you. But let's for now, let's do an unboxing to see what you actually get if you were to buy something, buy this actual telescope from Star Blue. You get the telescope, right? And don't let the size deceive you. This is actually, I'll talk a little bit more about the optical train inside this telescope. It's actually a much bigger telescope than it appears to be. You get a nice sturdy little tripod for tabletop use, and it is a sturdy tripod. But I recommend, I would recommend if you're going to do more telescope work to get a bigger tripod. And you get an, uh, a phone adapter, a smartphone adapter. You put your smartphone on that, it's real easy to do, and then you can take pictures through your telescope. And I'm going to actually do that in this video uh, towards the end. And you get an eyepiece, and it's all a standard eyepiece. This will give you a specific magnification, and you can buy more eyepieces to get higher magnification if you want. I'll, I'll even recommend a eyepiece or two for you here in this video in the description if you want to upgrade and get you know higher power. So let's set it up and take a look at how it goes. But everything about this telescope is quality. Even the little tripod is quality. And it's very easy to use and set up. And let's take a look at the optical train here. So there you go. And this is a nice, nice little um, benefit of this telescope. You can take that cover off and you can get a look at the optical assembly inside. Like I was saying, this is a Max Sutov Cassegrain, which is an, a, a little bit of a different high-quality optical train than, than your average beginner telescopes. See, the light comes in, bounces off a mirror, comes back, bounces off another mirror. Or there's one mirror, two mirrors, and then finally goes back through again and up into the eyepiece, which means this is actually, the telescope um, is actually three times larger than it appears to be, right? Because it's a folded optics. So this is the same thing as a telescope that would be three times as long. It's just folded up for convenience, which is nice that... Um, that's a nice benefit of a telescope like this is you get bigger telescope power, but it's in a very small package, so you can put it in your backpack. You can easy to travel with, easy to carry around and to take with you, and not you know not difficult to set up, and you know not a lot of stuff you got to worry about. So let's put the eyepiece in, and this is standard telescope stuff. You would put an eyepiece in so you can you know view things and if you wanted to change the magnification you would get a different eyepiece and I'll recommend for you a couple of eyepieces if you wanted to get something like this and you wanted more eyepieces so you can magnify things more and I like how it's got this little clicking system kind of where you can um, lock it at different locations like this just for comfort of viewing see it see it like that I like that it's very convenient and you can use a Barlow lens on it too, just like any other telescope. If you, a Barlow lens doubles or triples the power. 
you would put the Barlow in and then you put the eyepiece in the Barlow like that. Uh, don't worry about that if that's kind of strange to you. I won't talk much about Barlow's. I just wanted to let you know that it's standard. And it's real simple how that uh, iPhone adapter works. You put the phone in that with the camera on the phone in that little hole. And then you just um, put it on the eyepiece like this. And then you can look right at your uh, phone to see what's through the telescope. And, um, and one of the nice things about this telescope is it's being so portable. You can take it around, like I said, and um, carry it around easily. You can use it at night. You can use it during the day, right? So you get you get you can get a lot of use out of it. And the price is really very, very reasonable. So here we go. Um, I took it outside, and I'm looking at a tower across the street. I set up a, I set up a cell phone on it. I borrowed somebody's cell phone, and we're looking, actually looking through the telescope right now, just like that. Really quite simple. It takes 30 seconds. See, there's the tower that we're looking at over oh, way down there. The top part of it, too. I don't know what that top part is called. Is that a coupler? And if we wanted to magnify more, we would use a, uh, a different eyepiece. But so let's look at the um, optical train assembly, talk a little bit about Maksutov Cassegrain telescopes. So there's the main objective. There is a lens there. The light comes in bounces off the mirror, bounces off another mirror, and then finally goes back through. So we triple the length. And um, and this little knob here with my right hand, is that's the um, focus. But here we go, some standard telescope stuff. And I'm actually going to show you a couple of these. On top there is a refractor telescope, which has got a lens set in, at one end. And on the bottom there is a reflector telescope, which has got a mirror. And the thing that makes a Maksutov so terrific is this compilation of things. It has a lens and a mirror. See, the light comes in, or is shaped through one, bounces off of two, is further shaped, and then bounced off at three and further shaped for better refinement, better color correction, um, better, sharper images. And so for the price, it's really quite astonishing. I was really surprised to get a Maksutov Cassegrain. You know, it's a, it's a good, good telescope optical assembly. I like it. There you go. There's the Mac. So that's why I jumped at the chance to get this telescope. I, I don't own a Mac. Now I do. See, so what I did was I didn't just, you know, I, I like the telescope. I like it a lot. I, I used it. But I also did a comparison with another gentleman and two other telescopes. On the left is there, the silver one is a reflector with a mirror. On the right is the black one is a refractor. And in the middle is our Maksutov. So um, so I actually used all three telescopes at night to get a sense for how this telescope performed comparing those two. And it outperformed them both. And that's to be expected with a Maksutov Cassegrain. The, it's a high optical system, excellent quality, very crisp images, um, really good performance. So for similar sized telescopes of the n standard kind, this uh, Mac, it outperforms them. It just does. So, you know, I, I recommend this telescope. It's a really nice little telescope. And uh, like I was saying, see how those other telescopes are much longer? Uh, the, our, our telescope here we're reviewing here is just as long as those, but the optics are folded inside the tube. That's why. So, you know, it's a folded optic system. So you get uh, you get a very similar telescope size, but it, they can put it in a smaller package, which is very convenient for you to carry it around, to bring it around. And see, I've put it on one of my tripods. So, um, you know, if you want to do a nighttime astronomy stuff, I recommend you get yourself a, a tripod if you don't already have a camera tripod. It just makes it more convenient for you. You can set it on the ground, set the height of it to where it's comfortable for you to use, rather than setting it on the small tripod on the table. 
Well, there we go. So you take a look inside. I've already shown you the optical assembly. So big thumbs up for this telescope. I really like it. Um, the company contact just contacted me and told me that they can get me a, a discount code. So you can, if you want to buy one, I'll put a link to the Amazon to Amazon, and you can get a discount code to get a, 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 a some kind of a, a deal on it. Um, the big thing here is it's really high quality telescope. You're getting really good, in my humble opinion, as a telescope guy for a long, long time. You get a really good value with this telescope. And if you're in a classroom or something you want to show people, it's wonderful to be able to take that cover off and take a look at the optical assembly inside. So there you go. There's my review of this Saar Blue Maxutov Cassegrain telescope. I love it. I'm really happy with it. Here it is at night. We um, took some pictures there of, I think that was the, a few days off of the um, conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn, right? And we got some, we snapped some pictures of it. And I'm going to show you here a picture I took through the telescope of the moon. But I, I think, uh, let me think. Yeah, I didn't use the uh, phone for this picture of the moon. I used my camera setup. I, I connected my camera to the telescope and took this picture of the moon, which came out pretty good. So thank you very much. Uh, let me know if you get any questions about this telescope or any other telescopes. You know, shoot me an email, leave a comment. Go to my website at telescopenerd.com or stormthecastle.com for more information about it. Uh, very happy with this telescope. You'll be happy with it too. If you don't know much about it, you can take my advice. It's a good, it's a good telescope for a good price. Thank you.